Hi folks, Queso here. Um, in this video I would like to go over how to farm corn. Um, and you, either you want to keep it for uh, selling at the quote-unquote markets, or uh, as most people will probably use it for um, silage. Silage is used in both biogas plant, as you can see in the distance there, and also for cow farming. So <clears throat> this is going to apply to my cow farming tutorial. So one of the things, just going to go over equipment. So obviously you're going to need a tractor, a cultivator, and a seeder. Um, what I am using in for this demonstration is the Lamborghini R6, which was as a result of my saying which tractor is better, although in this game save I you know, edited the game file and gave myself 10 million so I could go ahead and just purchase stuff and, and, and practice. So I have a tractor, I have a cultivator, and I have a seeder. Um, what I did with is I got this cultivator. Uh, it's a six has a working width of six meters. The reason why I got this one is I can attach it to the front of my tractor and let, let it plow um, at the same time I seed in the back of my tractor. So, and so that leads me to the seeder. So right now, from what I can tell and, and saw through the list, there's only one that actually will sow maize or corn. So I, that's obviously the one that I got. And coincidentally, it has a nice six meter working distance as well. So to start off, that's what I have. Um, and that's what I'm going to use. So I'm just going to back up. We're not actually going to use this field because I've been getting maize um, planted for my other videos. But what you can see, uh, one of the tips I'd like to give on, on cedars, especially ones with ridge markers, I noticed that they prefer to have or start on the edge of the field where the edges on the right hand side because they automatically put out the left side cultivator so if at all possible start your um, plowing and seeding from the right hand side so as you can see this cultivator is taking care of the old corn the corn stalks that I have and <coughs> the seeders obviously seeding we can't see that yet but we will and uh, that's interesting it didn't um, plow all the way to the end, but quite honestly, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Um, we'll not really worry about that. Um, to get around that, what you can do, and this is what I've normally done, is just um, put the cultivator on a, di a different tractor and have a tractor simply cultivate your field, and then this tractor would have a sprayer attached to it and the seeder and a way to go. But I that's how I normally do my my stuff because I again you can refer back to my spraying and yielding video. Um, <clears throat> I spray right at the same time as planting because it doesn't make any difference. Um, but what will make a difference is if you plant with your game speed turned up. So I recommend anytime you're planting and harvesting, turn your game speed all the way down. Default keys are seven and eight. Um, on your keyboard, and that way you will have your crop growth uniform, and you also, when it comes time to harvesting, you won't miss out on um, withering. <coughs> okay, so the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk about the, tra the trailer. So, with you're going to need to have a tractor, obviously, and a trailer to plow, so or to get the the maize from, or the chaff from. So what I recommend is, obviously when you start off you're not going to have the biggest trailer that's available. In this case I have it, it's a 61,000 liter capacity. But get as big as you can because the harvester doesn't keep going. It requires a trailer so you have to be next to it to pull or to for it to run. It's very possible that Two, uh, two of the trailers that you can attach together may have a bigger quantity, but in all honesty, the hassle of backing it up and cornering and all of that stuff isn't really worth the extra capacity if it's even possible. 
I started um, going through that and decided I wasn't going to bother. So I've already filled up this trailer and I came over to the biogas plant here. The corn or cow field has a concrete um, dump in it as well for and it works the exact same way so when you drive into it you'll get information up there in the top left hand corner you see that it has a fill level so I've already put in two trailer loads in this or more maybe in this uh, um, particular bay and it has and you also have a compacting percentage so when you drive <coughs> excuse me we drive over the material it actually compacts it so before it will allow you to ferment your silage or put, or see the, the next one here has a white tarp on it it has to be at a hundred percent capacity but it also needs um, enough volume as well so you're gonna find that you have to put multiple truckloads in here before the um, before the fermenting option is even available. So I'm just going to go ahead, hit Q, I'm going to empty this. You'll see it actually um, changes the size of the pile depending on where you're at. Uh, that it does affect um, your compacting and how and driving over it. Um, so uh, I mean, it all, ultimately it doesn't really matter, but you can see as I added it, my volume went up and my compacting percentage went down obviously because I added more volume to the total. So to sh just show you how the um, the harvesting part works, I'm going to go take this tractor over and the trailer and get uh, or continue on uh, harvesting this field. Now I did have, this was a big field and I did have it had an increased speed, so I wouldn't be surprised if this goes white on me, which is another, brings up another point, you do not want to have um, too many fields at once growing because of the, basically you're manually har harvesting the field. The uh, harvester will not move, and I'm going to go over the equipment in a second once I, uh, once I get a full truckload for you, but uh, with the big crone M or whatever it is, you get in range of it, it senses it, and the boom, um, you have to, uh, well, if you're hiring somebody, it'll automatically do it, but um, it'll turn to where your tractor or your truckload is, and, or not truckload, but your, your uh, trailer, and it'll start spewing it out, as you can see. So we just drive up and down the field now. It's interesting, an interesting point I want to point out is the, this harvester drives slightly faster than the tractors on harvester speed, if you want, speed set, so number four. So you can see how I'm losing, losing speed. All the other harvesters end up, and I haven't tried it with like the corn, like keeping the corn attachment on this one, but I know on some of the other ones it, it they, they keep pace, but this one for whatever reason doesn't, so you, you have to watch that. You're going to fall behind, and you just, what I do is I hit number one, speed up, and then I'll hit four as I'm past it a little bit. Now, this is the tricky part here. We get to the end, and it starts doing its turn. What I do is I turn my tractor and I'll wait to, for it to get back to the corn and then I'll put the tractor up near the back of it and you see how it starts kind of sputtering? It does a, it, It's scripted. It's not because I'm out of range. It's just the way it is. It's really odd. But then I'll pull up on the empty side of it um, and continue on doing the same thing. It's kind of a slow turn. It's really a little irritating to be honest but uh, but yeah so that's that's corn farming so if you want like I said if you want to do um, corn and keep the actual corn and sell it or if you want maize the harvester requires a, uh, a special attachment um, as you can see the benefit right now obviously of having a large trailer like this one this is the biggest one you can you end up clearing a lot of the field 
you know, I've already gone down, well, this will be one full pass, and, and then some, I would think, um, of, of this field, and it's a pretty long field, too, right, so you wouldn't want a small little trailer, because you would, it would fill up, and then you'd be, you know, running to dump it, then going back, and the fewer trips that you can make, the better, mainly because the harvesting of this stuff is um, so manual. And it, it's nice too, you can see how far away I am from the, the tractor, so you don't have to worry about the, the boom of the, or the blade of the, the cutter as well. So it's, it's got a good reach, and it just spews it out, and away you go. So what I'll do once once this is full here, or actually, you know, I'll do it right now. Um, so the equipment that I got is this: the big, uh, the Crone Big X uh, 1000 forage harvester, and I have the Easy Collect corn header on it. This is the one that says "Chopping Maize to Chaff." There is another one. I don't know if I have it. No, I sold it. Um, but the other one actually collects the corn itself. So. Yeah, so that's it. It's pretty simple, although it is expensive because this is the only only combine that will harvest the corn. So you're already looking at that price. So it's almost four hundred thousand, and another forty-one thousand just for the harvester alone. So it's expensive to get into. Um, I don't know. I have to have to look, but I'm not a hundred percent sure if there's another combine that will harvest the corn so it's expensive it's an expensive thing to get into and I haven't I haven't actually uh, tried you know the the biogas to see how much it, it you know saves you or not necessarily saves you on purchasing but um, on uh, the money you make and same with cows I, I I did a little bit of playing around, um, and it is quite a bit um, of money that you can get from it, but again, it involves silage from corn, or actually I should say, your silage can also be from grass, but the volume of grass is so much smaller than corn, like when you think about it. How much grass would you need to equal the volume that you would get from uh, a stock, one stock of corn? Like it would. It would be a lot, right? You'd have to have a lot of grass. So, um, uh, corn's your easiest and your your better option to do. Um, but again, like I said, it does come with a price. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to dump this. That's really all you need to. Oh, so this this particular bin is full. So that's good. I guess there we know that. It can hold 333,392 liters, and I would, that's uh, four or five of my truckloads, uh, I can't remember, well five times six is 30, so it's probably close to that, um, anyway, so that's full, I'm going to pause. I'm going to start another video up on the uh, biogas. And uh, so I'll just tag it, or not tag it, but just continue off. So I'm going to be done with this vehicle, and I hope that helps. If you guys had some, some, uh, any comments, please leave them. Don't forget to su subscribe and like. Um, the other, actually one thing I did want to mention is that the growth cycle of corn is a little bit longer, so you'll find you won't see the greenery um, as quick as other um, crops, but they uh, still mature. Like, they still mature. They still go through all of the same the same stuff. It just is a little bit longer. So usually, what I do after I've got it planted is then I'll just speed it up by changing the the game speed like that, which. I'm going to do now for the um, for the uh, fermenting of my silage. And I didn't do it here, but don't forget to actually fil fertilize your fields. Give them a spray, you'll get two, twice the uh, yield off it, so 
Um, like I said, you can do it either this way by one machine, which I don't like, because um, I manually have to do it, and also it actually uses the fertilizer, whereas if you attach a, a sprayer on the front of your tractor and just hire a worker and then switch, press G to switch to the front attachment, turn the sprayer on, it won't use any uh, spray. So, anyway, hope that helps, and uh, we'll talk to you.